Hi guys, this is Laura from Targeted in Ireland. Um, I thought I'd make a little video today. It's a, it's quite sunny as you can see. Um, hopefully the weather will last. We begin the last couple of weeks. It's been absolute bollocks weather. So I just wanted to tar talk a little bit about what's happening in my case and my story. Perpetrators have definitely put me on the kill list. They're getting desperate. It's not working out for them. They're not getting paid the money that um, they were promised to get paid to uh, target me. And they are literally just planning on a way to to take me out. Because these perpetrators, and you all know who they are, if you, you guys know me a long time, they just get so desperate and pathetic where they're wanting to knock me down. They wanted to break in and poison me. They wanted to make it look like a fake suicide. Um, and they're absolutely disgusting. And uh, thank God I'll be out here soon. And uh, then as soon as I'm out of this location, they, they will pick on another Women, they always pick on women or children because they are very, very cowardly. And the dirty old perverts like to look at young women and children because everything that a targeted individual does, even in their own home or even in their boyfriend's home, they watch everything. They record you and then sell that on to people online in the dark net. So, guys, yeah, just a little update on me. Um... It's come to a point where I know they're they're so desperate that they're coming up with a way just to get rid of me. And this is why I put out so so much information, guys, because if you don't, you could be in a position where I am now and I really hope you don't. This my case is a bit my, my case would be one of the most extremist cases that I've ever heard of. And I've been making these videos eight years, so trust me that I've heard nearly every targeted individual story all over the world. And it's, uh, it's an absolute disgrace that they get away with it. It is literally East Germany all over again, and we know that. So the scandemic is now over, apparently. They um, packed, it, they pack, packed the bag and move, uh, moved over to, uh, I don't know, Dubai to do a bit of shopping. So the Rona virus is gone. And now we're in the midst of World War Three, which is another another scam in a sense of... All wars are funded by bankers and all wars are funded on both sides. So we'll just call them U Ukraine and or because I have to be careful um, about the algorithms because they keep deleting my videos. It's, it's another distraction, guys. Um, please do look at the Illuminati card games because they do put in some truth in those games and they literally plan everything 30 years in advance um, you will even see mind control cards you will see uh, their agendas you will see the Boston bombings you will see you even see Trump in the cards you will see other people that are known in these cards that were created 30 years ago so it's like they, they put in a face and you need consent of the people that they are doing this to and with the Jabiru, we know what that means. They're going to bring out more um, force mandates, especially they're, they're already doing it in different countries and the whole Canada thing and the whole trucker thing. Um, you know, that did have an impact, but I also th think that those were controlled as well. A lot of uh, individuals wanted to be fault and have a revolution. And I think that's where they'd be going with, with this. People are protesting all around the world. Nurses, like, literally, like, thousands and thousands, probably hundreds of thousands at, at this stage have walked out of jobs because they were they were forced to the jabberu and they did not want that in the body. Um, they, they put us through two years of this psychological abuse of this Rona virus. I do not know anyone who's, who've died of, of the Roman virus, personally. So it just shows it's all fake. It's scam. 
have to be careful what words I choose on YouTube, guys, because they delete your your channels and your accounts. I, I literally had about five TikTok channels deleted, like in within two weeks. And um, one other thing, guys, uh, check out my TikTok channel. There's a little bit of information on it, um, and I put the, the link there in my profile. So ha- have a wee look, you know. And it might be a little idea for you guys to uh, set your own TikTok uh, up and uh, try to get the word out. It's very simple um, to create a video. If I can do it, anybody can do it. Um, you know, to, it doesn't take time. It doesn't cost you anything. And you may be saving someone's life because when somebody's first targeted, they don't know what the hell is happening. And once they see information published online, they realise they are not alone. And that part saved my life a hundred times over. To know I am not alone going through these experiments. That was many more like me. So guys, just just be wary. Um, try to gather as much information as you can to protect yourself. Um, they follow a script. When they begin targeting you, um, they will try to censor, centralize you in, in, in terms of trigger words. They will use certain colors. They will um, hold up... Uh, satanic symbols with the hands and um, they will repeat back conversations that you had in your own home and nobody else should know they do things the most ridiculous looking things you would ever imagine and and that's the gaslight you and to make it um, when you come forward to the police and you're saying people are breaking into your house stealing 20 euro and then two days later the 20 euro is back they are breaking into your house. They are moving things around. They want you to sound crazy when you go to the police. And when you do go to the police, well, the police start stalking you as well. So you need to think outside the box. I suggest if it's bad for you, hire a private investigator. Follow the stalkers. So basically stalk the stalkers back, catch them, and then go through the legal proceedings because a, a private investigator can actually stand up for you in court. I, I hired one years ago. And he said he would do that for me, so I could still go ahead and, and use that when I choose so, because we have it recorded. Always bring a recording device with you guys, and always lock your doors. Lock your inside your bedroom door, and even put one of these little, um, I'll show you now, one of these little uh, things at inside the door, and this this one has an alarm on it. So not only will it stop them from getting inside, if they if they push on it, if it closes down and the alarm goes off, which wakes me up straight away. Um, or just many other techniques that you could use as well, but mainly lock yourself, lock, lock your bedroom door. And um, if possible, bring your, bring your things with you, like your phones, your tablets, um, your recording stuff. Um, bring them with you when you're going out because they do come in and try to rob the evidence. Um, so guys, I'll just end it really quickly. With me, yeah, they, they definitely want me dead because um, the perpetrators who are the honest to me, who live very, very closely, you know, very closely, um, they, because they're not getting all the money that they are trying to get off us, uh, they will literally go through the length of killing me, and I've know they, I know already they've planned that. So I just can't. I'd love to see if they try if they done it, and they got fucking caught. I mean, that would be a double win for me. That'd just be a winner, you know. But uh, I'll let this go, guys. Please check out my TikTok account. Um, it's a bit more easy going, you know. It's just to, you know, it's information out there, but it's it's not serious, too serious, you know. So you, everyone needs a break once in a while and being a targeted person, uh, you know, sometimes you just need to do forget about what's happening and, uh, and keep keep moving. All right, guys, leave a comment below. All the best. Bye.